Hey guys, it's Skybird, and I wanted to talk uh, for a few minutes about something that I mentioned in a recent video. I was talking about how one of my most productive days of Rahi design actually involved designing three Rahi in one sitting. And the one that you see on screen right now, the Benora walking crab, is really what started it all. So I actually designed this a couple of years ago at this point, but at the time I had wanted to make a crab build that could scuttle, move, sideways and walk sideways uh, for a long time at this point but I really didn't know how I wanted to do this and this went through a few prototyping stages where I had this idea of like uh, having like a camshaft rotate on a wheel and then it would like collide with these different lift arms and stuff and move these legs up and down and it was just honestly kind of a mess although I did create a working prototype it was big it was bulky it didn't look quite right things didn't really snap together all the way in a way that I liked. So as I basically tore that down and thought, I'm going to start all over again, uh, I had actually been looking through my miscellaneous box. It's a small little tackle box of Bionicle and Lego pieces. Uh, and in that box, I have a little tray of these knob type gears, these four sided gears. And I discovered that while moving these pieces around, because of the shape of the gap between the knobs, a uh, standard connector could literally fall in between the gaps in these knobs. But because the knobs were rounded, they could push up on these connectors, right? And so I figured out that, well, if I made those connectors into legs, then when I rotate these knob gears, the legs are going to move up and down. And because knob gears have an inherent characteristic of uh, meshing at a 45 degree offset, it meant that whenever one leg was at the highest point in its arc, the next leg was always going to be in the lowest point. Uh, and so that actually ended up working out well the best uh, as you can see on screen it is what I settled on now I have a modern version of this build on me right now so I can kind of show that on screen this is actually one that I'm designing for a little bit of a Lego ideas project but this build here is built with modern pieces but with a classic kind of styling to it so a lot of classic colors blacks dark grays and etc but the functionality is still the same with this wheel on the back that turns and drives these legs up and down. What's really nice about it as well is that since the base of this build is built around uh, 20 tooth gears, 12 tooth gears, etc., you can kind of offset the legs from one side to the other to really whatever you want. You can kind of have them alternating, you can have them synced up, or you could have them like oscillating at different, you know, rates. I don't know exactly how to describe that. Um, but yeah, so what that led me to is I thought I have this really solid base here. In fact, the base of this crab is identical to the crab you see on screen. It's everything on top of that that ends up being different. And so since I discovered this base build, I knew that I could really use it for whatever I want. It didn't have to go with a crab. And so I sat down and I was like, well, what if I design like a modular version of this that could like snake along or something i could create like a centipede or a millipede right and that's exactly what i did now i did have to scrap the idea of it actually bending flexing because knob gears are not really designed to mesh at any angle but rather they're only really designed to mesh at a parallel angle or a perpendicular angle 90 degree offset or in line with each other so it meant that i couldn't end up actually having a flexible spine as you see here but i ended up having to use an axle down the base of it instead now that said it does mean that the legs still work and the legs still alternate one over the other and in theory because this is modular you can make it infinitely long now in reality every gear you add to the system is going to add you know, uh, backlash, every gear is going to add a little bit of friction. So eventually it's going to gum up and stop working. But in, you know, practice, this is at the very least something that can give you an indefinite length to whatever it is you choose to build. So I built this uh, centipede, right? And I really was quite happy with it. I started with the modular body itself and then I went into designing the head and I knew I wanted a head that was kind of flat and tapered forward a little bit right centipedes are often known for being kind of like underground they 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 burrow and kind of move underground and that's exactly what I was working on here well as I was doing this I was trying to find a way that I could mount these panel pieces on the head sort of at a downward angle 
but also have it connect to an otherwise flat body. And so what I ended up coming up with was these originally was uh, using some of these panels on some angled connectors. And although it didn't work quite to uh, the my satisfaction, uh, what it did do is it gave me this essentially something I wouldn't have noticed if I hadn't tried this. Um, and I noticed that when you rotated the panel along this angled connector, uh, it would essentially move in sort of like a oscillating circular pattern, uh, which reminded me a lot of a hummingbird. And so I basically dropped everything I was doing and started working on a hummingbird. I went with the idea of this being kind of similar in function to the, um, oh, I'm, trying to think of the name the uh, kua bird i think uh in the master builder set where you roll a gear on the back and the wings move uh but obviously this was going to be larger this is what i ended up actually coming up with this build here although the one i built in real life had a lot more black in it than what you're seeing on screen and it is a hummingbird type build now it's quite large for a hummingbird obviously but it's still a really fun and interesting build that i was quite happy with right and so all of this this whole building session all of these rahi ended up coming out of my desire to build a crab that could move side to side and so even though i prototyped that crab for a while and then eventually settled on this base once i had this base in place i was able to actually kind of hammer my, my way through to another rahi and then to another rahi for an unrelated reason it's why when a lot of people ask me or say oh i wish i could do what you do it's you can you're not ever going to necessarily be happy with the first thing you build i know i wasn't but that's part of the learning process is learning to be unhappy with some builds or just being willing to learn from what builds can teach you because there's so many things that i have built that i have scrapped mechanisms that i thought oh this is really cool but it doesn't do anything for me you know that um still teach me new things whether it's teaching me things about the interaction between two or three pieces or whatever or uh interesting uh interactions between like lift arms and how they move in unique ways when you connect different geometries and stuff it it, it is that's really what it's about and this is just you know coming from me from a functionality standpoint but there's also uh, the fact that not every Rahi needs to have a function, not everything needs to fulfill a specific need, and you're also allowed to build m more of the same thing. You don't have to say, oh, I built one crab, I don't need to build any more crabs, I've done it, That my checklist is done, right? Sometimes I sit down and I don't have the intent of building a specific animal, like the, the ladybug build here that I actually featured in the previously uh, talked about <laughs> referenced video uh i didn't have any intention of building a ladybug when i was working on this and obviously it's different colors of course but um i ended up sitting down messing around with a couple of pieces and then coming up with this design that i was really happy with and ended up creating one of the rahi that has become quickly one of my favorites does it do anything particularly exciting no not really it just rolls but it's fun, it's cute, it's simple to make, it's simple to put together or take apart or, you know, uh, send to other people to allow them to do the same. It's just something that I, I'm going to take those back off because the delay is horrible. <laughs> it's just something that I always recommend to people. You'll never start making anything that makes you happy until you start making things, right? A long time ago, and I've referenced this in a video I've made in the past, I set out a challenge to take all of the Borak Va sets, all six of them, right? Take any two of those six and try to combine them into a Rahi. The first Rahi I ended up making from that was awful. It was a combination of the Levak Va and the Galak Va. And I made this like antelope thing, but the horn stuck out of the side, so I guess it was more like a, a longhorn uh cow or something i don't know exactly and it wasn't very good but i was happy that i did it right even at that mo po even at that point i wasn't satisfied with the build but i said you know what it's good enough let's move on let's start on the next one and i did that for every possible combination 
of Borak Va. There are 15 total Lego made for official combinations of two Borak Va each and turn them into Rahi. So it left me 11 more to do. And so I did. And occasionally I would come up upon one that was really good. I combined the Parak Va and Levak Va and made a rabbit that I love and I still build today. I ended up going back to that Levak Va and Galak Va build and made a walrus build instead that I adore. And it's one of my favorite combination models I've ever made. So it's, it's like that, right? Um, sometimes you'll make things you're not happy with. Sometimes you'll make things that don't make sense to you in the moment, but that's part of the learning. Uh, you're, you're not always going to be happy with what you do, but everything that you do is a step in the direction you want to go, right? Um, it's the same thing as like art. For example, I, I've heard so many people say, oh man, I wish I could draw. And that's true. I wish I could draw. But I also seen drawings of mine in the past and they're really good. And those were at times where I was in like art classes and stuff and had actually practiced, right? So I was warmed up, if you will. I, I'd stretched my calves or whatever. Uh, and it's the same thing here. Every endeavor you want to do. Some people, you know, are good at it the first few times just by statistics, right? Someone's going to be good at it the first time they do it. Or someone's going to create something that's really good the first time and then never again. But other people are going to take a couple of times to make something that they enjoy. They're going to trip a few times before they get running, right? But eventually, you'll get to a point where you create something, your own style, your own build that you adore. Or if you don't like it, someone else might. And that can be good enough, you know? So I wouldn't be at 197 Rocky today, which is mind-blowing, if I had been happy with every single thing I'd created. I would have stopped a long time ago. And... This, the same is true in reverse, too. If I had always been a purist or believed that, you know, all the Rahi Lego had made were perfect so I couldn't improve on them, if I had never been willing to step out of my comfort zone, I never would have made these in the first place. And that's really what it is. Sometimes you're just wrong about views you might have or beliefs you might have. I know I was. You know, I know that Lego's Rahi aren't perfect. You know, I know that not every build is going to be a good build. That's part of the fun. So that's pretty much it for this video. I went on a little bit of a rant there, but I think it was an important one. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Of course, as always, my links will be found in the description below, and I will see you all in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe if I didn't say it already. <laughs> Take care.